Hi Aquarius, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina, otherwise known as Sinful Pluto, and today we are doing your March predictions. This is going to apply to Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, all right? Uh, the, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it might not apply to everyone, and that's okay. Um, take what resonates with you and leave the rest that doesn't. Uh, use your discernment, your critical thinking, take it all with a grain of salt. The future is definitely not as set in stone, so, you know, keep that in mind. And most of all, sit back, relax, have a good time, enjoy yourself, have a snack, drink some water. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started, okay? This is going to apply to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I don't know if I already said that, but <laughs> if I did, then oops. I'm using the Spacious Tarot for anyone who is curious. I'll be linking it down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. And let's get started. So what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March 2020? What's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, March 2020? Hmm, okay. All right, so two cards fell out. So we have the Child of Cups as a first card, and it's so crazy because I shuffled this deck before starting to film. And this is the card that came out for Pisces. So that's crazy. All right, so a lot of imagination, idealism, that sort of thing. Well, that's cool. And it makes sense, I guess, because we are in Pisces season. All right, and we have the Ten of Swords. Ooh, interesting. Okay. All right, we have the Child of Wands reverse. What's going on? In the Pisces video as well, we had two child cards, two page cards. So a lot of childish or childlike energy. So Child of Wands reversed. Oh, okay, we have the Sun. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because while I was shuffling, I kept on seeing a sunflower. Okay, <laughs> so the sun. The ace of pentacles. The fool. So you could be dealing with, another, with an Aries or this is also just Aquarius energy in general. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the hanged one reversed, which is Piscean energy so as the overall theme of this month the overall energy of this month comes through as a hanged one reversed this could be you aquarius feeling stuck in some sort of mindset some sort of pattern habit um feeling just helpless in some sort of way maybe feeling paralyzed in some way um but this also talks a lot about inaction and how Perhaps you expect things to fall into your lap, how you might expect the world to kind of bend to your will. Um, what the hanged one reverse is basically talks about someone feeling helpless, someone who feels like a little bit of a victim and feeling sorry for themselves in some sort of way. But they also don't necessarily take in the action. They don't take the, they don't they're not taking the action that they need in order to get themselves out of, out of whatever situation they might be in. Right. Um, so it's kind of just like, woe is me sort of mentality, but at the same time, not really doing anything to fix it, not really doing anything to change your perspective, to change the way in which you approach things. It just seems like you're falling into the pattern of monotony or whatever it might be and expecting the world to feel bad for you in some sort of way or expecting the world to like do all the work for you, whatever it might be. Right. So we have that. So in terms of uh, what's going on for you this March, we have the Child of Cups, right? So it can talk about idealization, um, a lot of like childlike energy. This can sometimes talk about an unexpected change of events, which is really good, right? Because we need some sort of change, right? You might be feeling inspired in some way in the month of March, which could help in pushing towards change, help push towards movement in your life and kind of get things moving along, moving forward. Um, maybe you felt that in February you were stuck in some sort of way and with this page of cups, 
this is kind of saying how you might be feeling inspired you might have some sort of like awakening or like epiphany in in order to help you like move in the right direction um the child of cups can also sometimes signify someone who is naive or someone who it's just like very kitty. Like they kind of act like a kid. And especially with this fool card here, right? Which kind of further goes with the narrative of like being a little bit too childish or being a little bit naive, you know, hoping that everything is going to get better on its own, that fate will get better over time and kind of like taking that sort of like inaction. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, this kind of talks about how that might be hurting you a little bit more than helping you. And it talks about how there's kind of an, a need to change your approach in some sort of way. The Child of Cups can also just signify someone who is just emotionally immature, right? Someone who still has a lot to learn, someone who still has to figure out how to properly regulate their emotions, that sort of thing. And with that being said, the Ten of Swords here can signify how some of you might be a little bit dramatic about something, um, might be acting a little melodramatic, and you might not be thinking critically. Maybe you are caught up in your emotions. I'm sorry, I'm like putting my foot up. <laughs> you might be caught up in your emotions in some sort of way, and that could be what is halting your progress. Um, you may be dragging out some sort of situation longer than you need to, right? And we have the hanged one, right? So maybe this is related. Um, maybe with the hanged one and the ten of swords is talking about how you might be dragging out a situation, but at the same time, not really making any sort of action, any sort of move to make it better, to mend things, to change things up, to gain a different perspective, to, you know, like... You just change things up, right? <laughs> um, and with the Child of Wands reversed right next to it, this talks about an overall sense of pessimism. It also, again, it talks about being naive. And it just feels very childish to me, Aquarius. It feels like you're regressing rather than progressing. And it feels like there's a little bit of like deflecting accountability or like pushing it away like you don't want to take responsibility for yourself you're kind of taking on this mindset that the world has to like get better for you um it's almost like you expect everyone to do the work for you like i mentioned earlier expecting the world to kind of just like you know just like hand everything to you you know without having to put in any sort of work any sort of effort that sort of thing um, again, with the Ten of Swords, this is kind of saying how you might be acting a little bit dramatic, a little bit uh, unfair, and dragging something out longer than you need to. So it's like you have the choice to to move forward, to to let this situation rest but you keep on bringing it up and bringing it up and bringing it up and kind of just like drawing out the pain even longer. And so we have the sun, right? Which I think is kind of encouraging you to grow out of that habit, to allow yourself to mature a little bit, to um, maybe set aside your pride in some sort of way, to let go of like the childish antics, that sort of thing and i also feel that the sun is kind of saying to shed light on this to like acknowledge it to be to bring awareness to this behavior to this mindset to this thing right like put a spotlight on that so that you can't ignore it so that you can't run away from it in any sort of way and with the ace of pentacles i feel like this is saying aquarius that you might find a lot of opportunity in that you might be able to create something better or like you might be able to find um potential by creating something new. Mm, I see. Okay. So with 
okay so with the sun and the ace of pentacles right so the ace of pentacles is literally a seed right so there's potential for you to grow something new for you to enter a new phase in life and with the sun obviously like a seed needs sun it needs water it needs to be nurtured so it feels like there's something here there's something there's something here that is either being offered to you or that you have stumbled upon in some way or that you have just that maybe that you have earned or something right so there's like there's some sort of potential here some like something to grow into something greater but it feels that you might be lingering in the past right and it feels that for some of you maybe you're not optimistic about this endeavor or this project or this job maybe you're being a little pessimistic about everything maybe you're being a little bit of a debbie downer on your own self and it, it's so interesting because with the page of cups or the child of the cups here this kind of also talks about how you might have been dreaming about this opportunity dreaming about maybe this new form of income or dreaming about this new project this new idea this new way of doing things but it's almost like you're I don't want to say you're too scared to take action on it, but it feels like you've grown comfortable in the pain or in like being dramatic or whatever sort of antics that you're kind of dragging out with this 10 of swords. And it, it seems as though it's easy to kind of just have a little bit more of a negative mindset is what it seems here. Aquarius and I feel that there has to be a change in mindset there has to be a shift in the way in which you approach things and the way in which you see this entire situation if you want to end up being successful and if you want to end up with something that grows into something so much greater right because a seed can turn into a tree something so small has the potential to turn into something bigger than you could ever imagine right we literally have forests out there in the world where they're all like interconnected it's like technically one seed or like technically like one one tree or whatever like but all the roots are interconnected and it's it's and it looks like multiple trees you know what i'm saying like you could create a forest just out of one seed right but and i feel that all you really have to do here is to take some form of like leap of faith you have to trust and you have to change and shift your perspective. You have to look at the, at the situation with a glass half full perspective rather than glass half empty. Having a different frame of mind is what is going to define, I think, your, I don't, not like necessarily define your month, but I feel like it's just going to have such a major impact and it's going to really... I feel that it really has the potential to differentiate the way that the month plays out for you at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what I see for you, Aquarius, is there's 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 a lot of really good things that you could really work on manifesting or just like you there's a lot of good things that you can build this month in March. Um Especially if you tend to them, if you give them the sunlight, the love, the patience, the compassion that it requires, right? If you do that, that's when it'll grow even more when you have, when you know it'll grow when you take care of it, right? When you have that sort of mindset, um, it makes things a little bit more easier to bear, I guess you could say. And it also just gives you an outlet to express yourself, to express your imagination, Um but there definitely has to be this change and in, in like with the whole attitude. There has to be there has to be a change in attitude and mindset and behaviors. Um, and no longer dragging out whatever it is that you're dragging out, no longer being dramatic or uh like having some sort of tantrum or like being a crybaby or whatever, be like, ah, the world hates me, like you know just stepping away from that mindset stepping away from the pessimism from this idea that like you can't do it or whatever right there has to be you have to be the first one to take initiative to change in order for you to see the change that flourishes around you i feel like so that's what i have for you aquarius i hope that this was helpful in some way i hope it resonates with you um let me know in the comments down below what you think 
if you gained something out of it, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, share with your friends, family, loved ones, or anyone else who needs to hear this message. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification to know when I upload my videos. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on Twitter. No, you can't. You can do so at sinfulpluto.com. If you want to find me on social media, you can do so at Twitter and Instagram at sinfulpluto. And with that being said, Aquarius, I will talk to you later. Good luck. I love you. Bye.